Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris, the Corporate Death Cult series Chasing Steam Achievements. I'm your host, Klaus Vade. It's episode 8. It's the year 2300 on the dot, December 02. We are the Amway Corporate Hucksters. This is what our empire looks like. It's growing. Got a couple of new planets. Here to take care of. Where are these located at? It's been a little bit since I played this. This is in Dorellis. The Vale. Oh, it's just Dorellis. Okay. Now, what's this one? Bradham. Where's that one at? In Bradham. Right. Oh, that's on the end there. Okay. So, Bradham. Let's give them a colony. But they won't be a colony for long, actually. I think. What we'll do with this empire is food and consumer goods. And <laughs> since they're not, we have a ton of robots to move. So since we have that, agriculture district build speed will go up faster if we do this. So I'm going to build a bunch of ag districts. Oh, they have gas extraction labs. I'm going to build gene clinics and gas extraction labs. I'm going to build the gene clinics first. And the gas extraction was next. But we're going to be able to move a bunch of robots over there to do that, to help with that. So that's Bradham. Let's move robots to Bradham. What planet's on the end here? Bradham. Yeah, so they can be unemployed on Bradham instead of the planet they were on, but they won't be unemployed for long. Same thing here. Does this have any special... Nope. Okay. It's in this, the Vale sector. That's what I was seeing. So Dorellis. Okay, Dorellis. What are we going to do with you? I think there's not much here, but there's not enough food to make it just a food sector because you'd have too many cities. Um, and there's not enough of either one of these things really to do it so to make it worthwhile so I think we'll just go industrial mm -hmm. districts and to make to speed that process up. <clears throat> oh and we're actually short of uh, minerals wow that's kind of amazing so do that Let's move a few more. There's there's robots everywhere. So we can move some. And I know it's going to create some unemployment in places. There's a bunch of specialists here. We just... Um, <laughs> what we need to do is get a few more. Oh, look. Telepath. But who's unemployed? For Kiki T. Oh, because they Research can't take the actualized. telepath job. That's funny. There's Pre Kiki T all over these planets. So, what we could do is, let's see. Okay. So, on Gish, this is a planet that we took over from the Pre Kiki T. We need to go find a couple of our. Uh, I just going to chew up some of our influence but we need to come find a couple of these people and move them to gish not robots we need to find our actual ponzi schemers oh but they don't like gish they're not oh i see and the ithil what are they won't show me what they are from there let's go look at species i think we're the only psionic ones the ponzi schemers oh so we don't like gish so if we go to gish and we say it's a desert world, and we can't terraform it. Oh, but wait. Oh, hold on. Okay, hold on. Gish. Relic. We can use it. <laughs> so now we go to Gish. And we see decision. New bail life seat. Splendid. They are most welcome. Now we can take a couple of people and move them to Gish. Some place where we have overpopulation. 
take a couple of our Ponzi schemers, like these artisans, and move them there. And so on Gish, what we should see is those towpath jobs are working, and it raises their stability a little bit, not a whole lot. But that's awesome. Okay, and how, what do we have for secondary resources? Let's gas extraction. Oh, Corvette coal hit points. And Dura steel armor. Let's grab that. Um, lots of lots of management to do here. Okay. Yeah, lots of unemployment. So the sacrificial temple. Which one's my sacrifice one? I put an S in front of it. It's right here. I need to get five sacrificial temples on this thing. It's not a gas refinery. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. All right. So that's got five sacrificial temples on it. <coughs> now, I'm not sure it needs to be making robots. I'm a little leery of getting rid of my robots just because uh, we're, we're going to keep sacrificing people. How long is our edict in effect for? It isn't. So, sacrifice togetherness kills all mortal initiates. Hmm. Well, do we have them all occupied? You want to look for these jobs here. So, on the S planet, there's four. I think we should kill these guys off. It's going to take care of some of our unemployment. Let's do it. Sacrifice togetherness. 15% monthly unity, as the, and that then helps us charge through the rest of these. <coughs> okay. So. And then, of course, what happens is another person takes their place. <laughs> so, which is great. The problem is what's unemployed now is robots. Our robots are saying, please put us to work. Um, and we're we're good on all of our resources and we're not buying anything, are we? Nope. So, it's not like we're pressed for that. This, oh, so we finally have air, mineral purification plants. Okay, I need to find the big mineral. Oh, there it is. It's on that one. What, would we, what else would we like to put here? You guys have Upscaling a strong complete. Home. You have a little bit of a maintenance, which is not a lot. But oh, and it's the veil. Where is it located at? Right to there in Dorellis. Hmm. Upscaling complete. Not a big deal. I'm thinking more about choke points, like soil here. Uh, okay, so, researcher jobs. How many gases do we have? Six? I'm going to move some people to soil. 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 Because... We need to move them, get more people over there so that we can uh, raise their capital up. They're like, yeah, we don't have any jobs yet. I know. You will. So if we go to Soil after all of those people are moved. Still at it's 41. Okay. Research actualized. Oh, they got features they're gonna get. Research actual. Hey, now we can do that, but we don't have the influence to do it. Psionic army. Oh, I'd like to have that. Alien zoo. I'm not as big of big on. Well, that won't take long to do it. Gene modification points. 
Might be able to pull that off. Soon. Yeesh. Yeesh. Yes, I have all these unemployed people. What do you want me to do with them? Well, <coughs> spiritual ethics attraction. Being up is great. Soil. Incoming transmission. Is black. Deep space. Migration treaty proposal. Okay, now. We need to take these, even though it's going to bite into our influence. And here's the reason why. It's part of a steam achievement I'm chasing. And so that steam achievement is called Very Open Borders. As a Xenophile Empire have migration treaties with at least 10 other empires. That's a lot of empires. Now, obviously, you don't have... <coughs> Uh, the migration you don't have the Upscaling influence complete. to do that with just four you, you have to get the unity ambitions later <laughs> that allow you to, to crank this up to add plus five to it to where you can start to get around ten to twelve a month depending on your faction power but we'll get there and, and thus we need to keep doing that Death Research Stellar and Industries. Ruthless Capitalist. Corvette Hole Hit Points. That's nice. Robot modification. So there we go. Now we can make even better robots. We can just give them plus five to uh, all their resource output from working their jobs. So that'll be nice. <clears throat> Change all our workers over to that. And then not worry so much about the growth because they don't need to grow fast. So everybody needs a sacrificial temple and a stronghold. But after that, if we're okay on bureaucracy, more sacrificial temples, please. More. Or uh, obviously more strongholds, but we I like to use habitats for that. So, Not that you can't use a habitat for a bunch of sacrificial temples, too. <laughs> you can't. All right, unity ambition. Embassies add plus three to unity. Plus three unity. Okay. Uh, that's not going to be a lot, but. Because we don't have an embassy up yet. <coughs> oh, we do. We have one right there. Embassy complex. Available envoys. And we can upgrade that building, which we'll do. So we can start putting envoys in more places. Hegemonic imperialists. Where are you located at? Not far away, actually. So we're going to give you one of them. Improving relations. Marauder clans. Don't care about them. Improving relations. Improving relations. <clears throat> so let's see. Where are we? Oh. Am I Cobra Oxford right at the top? We have what? Commercial packs with the High Kingdom of Rax and the Yamakara. But I don't think. Do we have a branch office on there with them? Somebody else does, the Death Con. Okay. <clears throat> so we need to get corporate. High Kingdom of Rax, which we do have corporate buildings on. The Finno Galactic. Okay. The Ithil Star Assembly. <laughs> Do you want to form a commercial pack? Not yet. Almost there. Okay. The Itho Galactic Alliance. These guys Research all have actualized. one planet to their name. And that's concerning. To, it's disconcerting, I should say. It, it, it's not a good plan to, to uh, worry about them being commercial packs with them. And getting... Your mega structure, I mean, not your mega structures, your uh, <coughs> mega corporation buildings on there because they could very easily go bye bye. <laughs> so you want to pick the bigger empires like this. These guys, Aerodite Explorers. Okay, diplomacy. I'm going to improve relations with you because you're a bigger empire and I can put corporate buildings on you. And same thing here League of Sog Prime Aerodite Explorers. <laughs> Do I have anybody free left? Illithid Star Assembly. Busy improving relations Upscaling with the Finium. complete. The Soran Corporation, who we have to keep happy. And the Yamakar, who we have to keep kept because they're close to us. So these guys. 
It's like, no. So we need a few more envoys, but we'll get one from this building here soon. What can you offer us? The orbital trash dispenser goes through Hunter Minerals and show you this method. The orbital trash dispersal. Okay. Research actualized. What kind of research is it? Orbital trash disperser. This component overwhelms planetary defense grids with trash data by spamming them with millions of minute high velocity projectiles. Ships equipped with this component cause more damage during orbital bombardment. Oh, fun. Okay. <clears throat> oh. Good for them. Okay, so this planet just got started. It's got food. It needs workers. It's got five jobs. All right, so this is Nusakan. Nusakan can take your robots. It's got five jobs, so give me give me all your robots. Nusakan. So what we'll do with Nusakan here is fill out the rest of its farmer jobs. One, two, three, four. Get it a stronghold. Sacrificial temple, and then we'll start working on this part of it industrial districts and uh, civilian complexes. So, new Sakin, awesome. Oh, and it's gonna need a couple of cities. In there. All right, what that means is on Quick Star, these are pointless, they're not pointless, but. I don't want them on this planet when it can do something else. In this case, what it can do is... Minimum purification. These have been upgraded to bureaucracy. So that's going to be what it's going to be good at. Is more Research actualized. Because I don't want to accidentally raise those buildings up on a planet that doesn't have a whole bunch of... Industrial zones. There's four on this planet. Four people who can be moved elsewhere. Noosa can. Bork. Bork is still building stuff. It doesn't have a lot of great things here. Let's give it the basics Stronghold, Sacrificial Temple. It has seven jobs available. What are those jobs in? Basics. So I can move robots Research to Bork. Actualized. Let's move them to Bork. Bork. That helps. Yeah, gene modification points, clone army. Admin capacity, 5%. I probably like to have that and then we'll get the psionic card. Gish. Yes, I know. You have some. For Kiki T, who say, hey, we need more jobs. Yeah, but I'm not raising your buildings up. Because I don't really have. Oh, the Cosmo. I don't have the crystals to do it. That's the problem. And you don't have a sacrificial temple on this planet? Oh, well, now you can have one job. You can have that job. <laughs> you can <laughs> definitely have Research that actualized. job. Robot mod points, nice. Alan Mega Fortress. I don't think we have the Batharian power plant on anything yet. Star Fortress. Ooh. Get Alan Mega Fortress, and then we get to start worry about Star Fortresses. Research actualized. Need those, though. I like seeing the research start happening here. Of course, we did pick some cheaper ones. Scaru, you sneezes. Man, hate them. Hate them. All right, so the Senate says we're about to pass what? Form the Galactic Council. Oh, we'll certainly we'll take that. Yeah, so our next task here, the Fenu Galactic Authority, Fenu Galactic Autocracy. Some of these guys like us and some of them don't. They're over here on the other side of the Yamakura. But the ones we want to take care of are the Deathicon, and they're part of this Harmonious Academy Compact. 
Uh, it's got four different <coughs> oh, ruthless capitalists are in there. Huh. Okay. Well, just have to take some of them over and vassalize them, right? It's just what we're gonna have to do. Cause we need the branch offices, not these bums. All right, what are you doing? You got no orders. That is what it's on a wormhole, which is why we're doing this. Combat disengagement chance, sunlight, speed up. Wait for the defense grid supercomputer in that one, I think. But we have 16k and I need to start. Need to start taking care of that business. Right, so this is going to be. I'm going to start naming these. A BW is not what you think it is, it's a wormhole. It's a bastion on a wormhole. Just like, okay, so over here. I was thinking about going and grabbing that, wasn't I? After I grabbed this, but that might anger them a little bit more. What I need to do is grab this. I'm gonna need to build one here. Open borders from the Finian Galactic Autocracy. Research actualized. Hello, Omega Forges. Oh, middle or just output. Breeding grounds. All right. Durst to our Colonial Enterprise upsizing. Let's go for middle or just output. Bubbles. Hey cat. Research actualized. What you doing? Cat's hopping up here, saying hey. Oh, tile blockers. Okay. Yeah, keep what keep saying. Well get that psionic army and then <clears throat> and then that happens. Alright, so where are the rest of our bastions? Lost to bureaucracy. Oh, I'm not spending minus one hundred influence on that. Throw out the inhabitants and raise the area. Due to a major clerical error, parts of Broadham has fallen behind in infrastructure. Adds 20 devastation, influence gained 80. Robot pop on Braden enraged moderate high added for 20 years given fallen effects. Oh god, I'm not gonna do all that stuff. Just do unfortunate. Research actualized. Go here and say hey, features. Oh, so <laughs> I think we were building food on this planet or and now we don't let's move some robots to Bradham Bradham Ponzi schemes oh you're a specialist I see why you weren't moving into that job. Okay. What do we have here? Form the Galactic Council failed. Oh, nobody's excited about that yet. It failed. Oh, well, somebody else will bring it back up. Alright. So back to work. Over here. This is a bastion. It's just a straight up bastion, it's not over a wormhole. Oops, it's me not getting my finger off the caps lock fast enough once again. Yeah, so this one, Soyo Station, also there. And then down here, Zafa Station. So this, the reason why I do this, so that it's easy to tell what they are over here when you're looking through here 
especially if you're looking for those, because those are the ones you typically want to upgrade. Diplomatic acceptance plus five. Envoys improving relations have a one per chance, ch chance to gain favors, which is really nice. Um, or you can get trust growth faster. Plus 33%. I'd rather do this. I want the chance to start earning favors from people. It's actually really cool. This is going to be a huge, huge planet for us. And I think I might... I might make it another one of my sacrifice planets and load it up. It needs a stronghold and it needs this. And then we'll just keep loading it up with jobs. Governing ethic shift in the Finu Galactic Autocracy. They're more militaristic. That sounds like a personal problem. Stronghold, sacrificial tempo, give me civilian industries, or better yet, give me alloy families first, because we're doing really good on the civilian industries thing. The Vale has an unemployed robot, send them somewhere where there's a job. If you got unemployed robots, I got jobs for you. Research actualized. And we finished our whole. Oh. Well, not finished. I'll explain here in a second. Star Fortress. Let's just get that now. Let's go to our species and look at robots. <coughs> They're down Upscaling here. Upscaling complete. Robots. So we're going to create a new template. And it's the one that. This one. Resources from jobs. So. Um, worker. Actually, I like doing this. Just call them droids. It's a droid. It's a droid, sir. Create that template. So to change them all over to a droid would cost us what? How much time? Situation log revised. 54 months. Well, let's do it and get it out of the way. Because then we won't have to worry about it so much. We'll get a few stragglers because they're currently creating a bunch of robots and they're in the middle of being created. So it's not much you can do about that, but... Incoming inquiry. Okay, Finu Galactic Autocracy. Research Finu. actualized. Finu Sovereignty. So the Finu Galactic Autocracy kind of like us. Alright. Clear blockers. Administrative capacity and base intel level. Oh, Cyanica. Let's finally get that. The veil features. Finally, we can remove that one. Bork, what are you doing here? Yeah, you're. What are we going to do with this world? Make the sacrificial temple world? No, it doesn't provide enough jobs. You got to have something. You got to have a building that you can upgrade a lot. So, in this case, it might be best with the research world. Cause research be actualized. Twice. So that's where things are at. A space storm arrives, which will make things a little difficult. So what do we have for wormholes here? We got two L gates, which is a little dicey, and then this one, which goes way over here into the Izki Star regime, and they have a mega structure. How are they for? They like us. And we have a migration treaty with them. Form a commercial pact. Hmm. We got a new envoy available because we raised up our 
embassy, so let's put that person to work. Incoming here. transmission. Form Federation proposal. Okay, hold on. Here. Hello, kitty. Let's see what we have. That's a sacrificial temple, and we're out of minerals. Let's go buy some. So we can do this planet. Pandil 3. Alright. Yeah. Industrial districts, maybe? Might be the best thing. Forge world. Gene clinics. Stronghold sacrificial temple. That order in like all right. so a federation association offer form a new federation a galactic union diverse ethics what kind of you are fanatic xenophile and authoritarian the high kingdom of Rax wants to form a federation with this well Okay. Through this federation, collaborative commerce will be assured. Artisan tree. Hey. Zerkorp. Who else is in the federation? A whole bunch of people. High Kingdom of Rax, the Carabiner Consumer Products, and the Rigix Hegemony. Yeah, so. So, the High Kingdom of Rax. Oh, let's see. Yeah. I don't have anybody that's in the Federation. I don't have an envoy that's taking care of any of these people, so I can't switch them over to the Federation. You guys are going to have to do it. Move your, move your people over and do it. All right, let's reform this. I said last time, what was it? Yeah. Gospel of the Masses? Is that what it was? Yeah, so that was what I was saying last time. Spiritualist Pops give additional trade value. That's nice. On all planets. And branch offices can build Temple of Prosperity corporate building. Spiritualist Ethics Attraction plus 50%. We'll add that. And that'll be fun. So, who do we have our first branch office with? The High Kingdom of Rax. Where's Rax at? Right. Have you guys grown enough on your home world for us to put a second branch office thing on here? No. Branch office slots are unbought by upgrades to this planet's planetary administration and the planet's owner taking the insider trading tradition. Yeah, and look at you guys are really sucking. You're having a real problem here. So, uh, you have no amenities. Corporate Empire modifier amenities plus 10%. Mm -hmm. Sounds like you have a problem there, buddy. Rax is having a little problem. Meanwhile. Well, I have what? A bunch of fleets over here. And I got 16k. I'm gonna upgrade my fleets and then I'm gonna go take this thing out so we can get that. He should be building. He's, he's just doing it slowly. Okay. Alrighty. The glow. Glow Incoming glow. Inquiry. Incoming inquiry. Research agreement mm -hmm. proposal. No. There's, there's just only so much I can do with my ships upscaled. <laughs> Influence that I have. What little I have it must be saved and used on other things. Encounter and quick start. Shy aliens. The 
Chilings are just going to have to make it on their own because I don't have enough envoys to do anything else with it. This science ship moved up Ships there. And upscaled. Like, yeah, I got all the way around here and there's nothing that interesting. Okay, move. Research actualized. Encryption. Upscaling complete. And we have the potential for this thing over here. Oh, there's Epsilon aliens over here. Who are they? 456 power. That Starbase under assault. Pirates decided. Okay. Evading competitive fleet. Yeah, right there. So that's a little bit of a problem there, isn't it? Well, that's why we're trying to get the tech to upgrade that. Here, one, two, three. If we look here. <laughs> yeah. So what's this? 120 piracy is coming through here. The base protection is 7, plus we're getting protection from three different star bases. Piracy suppression is 140. So why did those guys show up? Because our piracy has reached its maximum value, but its maximum value. Current piracy is minus 120. My suppression should be greater than that. Oh, and there's some over here too, isn't there? Because there's not enough suppression. In that case, we can do the math. It's 47 plus 7, which is 54, so that explains why that's getting some piracy. Uh, let's send the fleet down there and take care of it. I shouldn't need a huge fleet at all, but... It's going to hurt us for a little bit. So... This thing right here, let's take a look. Where are you? Yeah, you're... You could add some pirate suppression, couldn't you? So one, two, what? Even then, you, could, you couldn't stretch that far. We need another star base in here. And really, here's part of the problem. This, yeah, let's do this. We're going to change you. This is a choke point under the idea that we would have to use it against the Soren Corporation. I'm not sure that's the wisest idea. So here's what I think we should do. Hmm. This one over here is grabbing trade from a bunch of different places and shuffling off in this direction. So what's the most what's the most effective way to handle the trade that's coming from here all the way over to here? With one two, three star bases. Well, I can tell you that ain't it then. If you put one there, and then go one, two, three, and then that one there, that should be enough. So you don't technically need this one. I downgrade it. This is going to be changed over to trade protection. basically want you to go take this thing out. So that's, that part's fine. The bigger deal is... We get trade protection there. What's going on down here? Yeah, we just gotta get these upgraded. That's gonna help a ton. Oh yeah, you have a hangar base now, buddy. Research platform lost. Yeah. 
upscaling complete. Governing ethics shift to xenophobic over there. Wow. Trust gain go up. Mining platform lost. Get our piracy suppression over here. So what I really need is a star base that can do shipyards. In an effective place for me. What is this? The Guardian Angels Act? No. No. And right now this is close actually, so we need to keep an eye on this because we don't want that. Foreign to pass. market leaders request contact. Okay, but I don't see a thing. I don't see a notification, so who who wants to notify me or contact me about anything? We are voting opposed. It's going to be very close. So. That's not good. Sacrifice togetherness. Oh. Research actualized. Well, let's check here. We have. We don't have enough. We don't have enough people here to sacrifice them. Let's do that. <laughs> Let's make sure that our sacrificial people. Okay, so sacrifice togetherness. Let's do, fire it off again. Togetherness. 18% monthly unity. Kind of like that. The Deathicon First Church declared war on the Vran Entity. Oh. Too bad for them. Too bad. So sad. We have, a, we have an awkward little empire here with the way it works. And so having like this be our main fleet creation area. It takes too long for any fleets to get over here where they could actually be of help against... I mean, right now we're in a federation against the High Kingdom of Iraq, so that helps, but if we're really spread out. We need to get to the whole gateway construction thing. That's just gotta happen. Now we're just too spread out, so... So, in that... With that in mind, I'm not even bothering to make another shipyard anywhere. Like we need to we need to put one here, a bastion here. Um, let's see if we were gonna grab Research trade from actualized. here and here and here and here. If you put one right there, one, two, three to there, and you need one, two trade systems, one, two, three, yeah, right there. Build one right there. Let's just make it even worse. Psionic army, awesome. Cryo revitalization centers. That's an upgrade. It's really nice, but we don't have the gases for it right now. We have six gases. Yeah, so this will be even more trade flooding through here, which is gonna make it even more awful at this spot over here. Here comes our fleet. We may need to just leave. Um, we may need to leave Bubbles over there. Bubs, why don't you just come move right here? <laughs> we might have you patrolling between these systems here. Governor in the Empire Capital has died. Floral fascination. Situation log revised. Research. All right, floral study. I need a science ship. Right there. Where's the closest science ship? You, it's your job. Go. Go do it. Up 
Upscaling complete. Competitors engaged. Yay. Give me the old what for. Upscaling complete. the game for the third blast of sneeze engaged. during this episode. It's just insane. Get the pirate base. Hey, good job. Okay, you guys can move up here. You guys can move down here. Get me those. The most important thing is get those boats back. The trade must flow. All right, what are we looking at now? There we go, 100%. End of the month, 277. That's what we like. Glow, glow, glow. Wow, look at you. Excuse me, jeez. What do these cost? Moats. How many moats do I have? Quite a few. Quite a few. Bork. Thanks to the skill of our envoys, we managed to gain a favor from the Kinjodan. Bork, what are we going to do with you? Oh, did we say we were going to put research on you because there's not much else we can do with you? And these, can be, these buildings can be raised up quite a bit. Bork has six jobs. What is its jobs in? Research Simple stuff. actualized. So let's resettle some people to Bork. Is this the Amakara Imperial Colonists declared war on the Finu Sovereignty? Well, bummer for them. All right, are you guys ready to go in here and do this? Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Research agreement? No. How are we looking over here? Opponents of the Guardian Angels Act are now. Pretty great. We still gotta keep an eye on that. We may have to buy some favors there. Research actualized. What is this? Thanks to the skill of our envoys, we've got that. Yes, I love that. It's just awesome. When it starts working the Xeno Outreach Agency. Huh. Sure, I've never seen that before. Okay, over here. Plugged in. There we go. There you are. Upscaling complete. Here we go. Go. Fleets. Where's our other fleet? Do we send both of them over? Are they both there? Oh. Competitors engaged. Scooby-Doo. Excellent. 
That's what I'm talking about. More materialist for those folks. <clears throat> All the factory arousable. Can I for allow mind altering particles in the atmosphere? No, we can't. It becomes very, very bad for our empire. Just very, very, very bad. Alright. Lots of food here. Hey, what is this? The Juven Forerunners Enigmatic Observers. Greetings, Ponzi schemers. As you know not know, we are dedicated to the study and conservation of all forms of life. Oh yes, very well, you will have your contribution. Surrender our population, Lord of Fire. We will give you a Ponzi schemer. Yeah, take him. Let's see what you want to do. What is this? Available jobs here? This is, what planet is this? Nusakan. Nusakan's got people again. It's got plenty of jobs right there. Send those robots over there. Nusakan. Yay. Alright. And where is it? Oh, I don't know. Great. <laughs> robots don't cost influence. Here we go. Diplomacy. Cha ching. Okay. You gotta think about this. It's going to take a little bit of time to think about. Alright, so one of my thoughts was to become the crisis, but you can't do it as a xenophile empire. So, that's not going to happen. But later, there is a really cool, another Steam achievement I want to chase, and it is this one. And it says... <laughs> I gotta find it. It's called Retirement Home, and it says, As a rogue servitor, own at least ten pops from a fallen empire. Which, of course, would play very nicely into the whole Become the Crisis thing. So that may be a different playthrough. So since we can't become the Crisis, we don't have to worry about this one. Now, I think Universal Transaction makes a lot of sense for this playthrough. Branch office costs minus 15%. Commercial packs no longer cost influence to maintain. That would allow us to just make commercial packs with everybody which I'd really like to have. Um, so I'm going to take that right now. That still leaves us three. Two of these have to go to mega structures, And then it leaves us a, a, f a final one to do something like either get the Colossus or Defender of the Galaxy or whatever we feel like we have to have. So very much like that. We're going to do that. Commercial packs no longer cost us. At the end of the month, it'll you'll see this number flip over. It says commercial packs right now 0 0.12. We're on day 25. Day one, this should change over. Yep, there it goes. Research actualized. Change away. So that'll be cool. The alien zoo it doesn't take very long to do, so we'll just do it. It's not. It wasn't an eventful episode as far as war. And we didn't get to put another branch office on anybody. <laughs> Just too bad. Special project actualized. Oh, this is the, so the Allied Sovereign Stars. High Kingdom of Rax, which we already have. He got peaceful traders. So we probably can't. <laughs> Do what we want to do with them, can we? Because they're a mega corporation. Rats. There's too many mega corporations on this map. The Rixie Hegemony. Kick from Federation. The Rixie Hegemony. Here on planet Curvus. <gasps> the Carabiner Consumer. I'm going to have to destroy every mega corporation on this map in order to. Uh, I'm going to have to absorb them, aren't I? The character. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. Okay, so, and that's it. And, man. Research actualized. So this is their mega corporation. Oh my god, there's a ton of mega corporations on this map. This is amazing how many there are. I decided to choose a mega corporation 
and they all come after me. The Vron Entity. They're a hive mind. Well, you know what? They got 11 planets. Let's improve relations with them because we can put mega corporation buildings on them. Man, I am just. That's killing me. That is so sad. Okay. Before we end the episode, let's take a look. This can. It's 790 days of cooldown before we can take and build another Gaia world. The Jonas Continuance. Attention, organic civilization. Widespread biological vulnerabilities have been detected in the Ponzi population in order to assure your species viability for the custodian project. All major population centers will require inoculation. Uh, we do not entrust trust this inoculations. So, too bad. It's, it's not going to happen. Foreign market leaders request contact. Communication established from the muted and merchant guild. Okay, so now we have Trader Enclave, Trader Enclave, Marauder Clans, Curator Enclave. Can you aid us in our research? We would like to purchase this service. And then the Artist Enclave, Diplomacy. Wish to become your patron. For 5,000, you patron in the arts, monthly unity plus 10%. Well, it wasn't a super sexy episode, but it did get stuff done. Bork. Bork's got some peaches. He's got to get rid of here. Yeah, so as a corporate empire, we, we have major goals. We need to form migration treaties with ten Research different empires. Actualized. So that's, that's one thing we have to do. <laughs> We have to get corporate branch offices on the home worlds of five different entities. And if we can, we need to find the Holy Empire. Hope there are four Holy Worlds and we need, we need to get all of those. So there's a lot going on here. And I'll upgrade my, and I need to get my fleets upgraded. And there is the Enigmatic Fortress over here. Although the rewards on that are... Um, not exciting oh and we're in this situation okay I'm going to stop the episode here you can see what's going to happen uh, the guardian angels act is, a, is a, a threat of passing so we need to go get favors and call in favors um, that has to happen alright folks that's it thanks for watching thumbs up the video subscribe to the channel leave your questions or comments down below my patreon is listed in the description below I'll see you all next time